Let's talk about setting up Visual Communicator for live TV output right from your computer. Now, what, normally, what you normally will see is in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, you see that live output of what's happening. Instead of it being there on the interface, right alongside the teleprompter, we're going to take that image and send it out of your computer, full screen on a TV set. Now, this feature became available as a version 2 of Visual Communicator, so if you're still using an older version like version 1, it's probably time to upgrade just to get this one feature. Now, keep in mind what we're talking about here is called Live TV Analog Output, which is different from the newer way to broadcast live over the web called Live Web Streaming. Visual Communicator does have live web streaming capabilities, but that's an advanced topic we'll look at on a future training DVD in this series. For now, we're going to keep it simple by focusing only on the live analog TV output. So to make all this possible, your computer needs to have a TV output jack. On a laptop, you'll likely see an S-Video jack that looks like this. However, on a desktop computer, you might find either an S-Video jack or a yellow composite video jack, depending on the video card that you're using. These are referred to as dual-head video cards. Now, if you don't see a TV output jack, you'll need to buy a replacement video card that has TV output capability. Video cards inside of a desktop computer are really quite easy and affordable to replace. If you need to update yours, take a look at my most recent recommendations for video cards and more in the Rob's Recommendations section at SchoolTVMadeEasy.com. Next, I'm going to show you how to connect your video cables to enable this full screen live output.